We needed to get the coin back, so we followed you to HG Wells. What is this? Some kind of kid prison? No, no, I think this is an ancient school. Wait, I've read about this kind of guy. This is what they call in this century a class clown. You're hilarious, Screech. There it is. There's the coin. And the Pickford Yuletide Star was brought to Pickford in 1865 by its founder, Ezekiel Pickford of Pickfordshire, Nevada. For generations of Pickfordians, this star has always symbolized community and tradition. As this year's Christmas princess, it's my job to keep the antique star safe and sound into the tree lighting ceremony. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna get some milk. Here, have mine. While you were giving the class clown your food, I swiped the coin. All right, I got it. Everything would have been fine. Let's go. But then there's Pim. What are you doing? I got my souvenir. No, didn't you hear that girl? This is the town's most like treasured possession. Put it back. No. No, put it back. No. Put it down. Give it back Pim. to me. Put it down. This isn't yours. You can always count on Pim. Smooth move. Oh no. What? No. No, no! Miss Tesla, what seems to be the problem? And whatever it is, please remember, this school and its parent company, the Pickford Landfill Corporation, are not liable. The whole town's gonna hate me. I destroyed the Yuletide Star. <gasps> No, Keely. You destroyed Christmas! Oh, Phil, come on. Look, I feel really bad about what we did to that girl, Keely. What kind of name is Keely? Asked Pim. Look, we gotta find a way to fix this. What are we supposed to do? Go back in time? Yes, I am aware there's a time machine right behind me, but that doesn't mean Dad's gonna let you use it. Unlike you, he doesn't get all goofy over some stupid 2003 girl. I'm not getting all goofy over some stupid 2003 girl. She's not stupid. Ow!